there are different kinds of immersion, but we here, we are talking about surrounding yourself with native level content, with people, TV programs, books, podcasts, that's immersion. The main principle about immersion is that learning comes from exposure, from exposure to the language. The more time you are in touch with your target language, the faster and the better you are going to learn. The real problem with this technique is that if you don't know certain keys, you can get frustrated and you can lose motivation. And this is what happens when you want to read a book or watch a movie in French without subtitles and you notice that you're not understanding what is happening. And after a few minutes, you are going to switch the subtitles to English or just turn the TV off because you are not understanding. And of course, you are not learning. And that's because there is another very important concept that you should apply to increase the chances of learning. And it is the concept of comprehensible input. It states that in order to learn better and keep you motivated, you have to understand the language you're exposed to. The content has to be not only abundant, but also significant to you. Otherwise, immersion could be really frustrating and extensive contact with the language could be really boring. So at LingoPy, we know the importance of immersion, extensive viewing and comprehensible input. And that's why we offer to users a double subtitling in every show. As you can see in this picture of the cartoon Osvaldo, where we can, uh, we can read Alors, la quelle est la bonne in French and the subtitle in English. So which one's the right one? We offer this in every show, as you can see in the picture, because learners who can't yet read French subtitles need to be able to follow the story and get involved in what is happening. So just by watching, actively watching your shows, you will be learning in an effective and meaningful way. Hi, everybody, and thank you. So as Marco said before, learning a language through immersion is a great way to really connect with all the aspects of it. So watching TV series and movies is a perfect way of including the context of every situation. When you watch a scene, you have all the components that set and determine the context through sound and image. The people, the places, the facial expressions, the intonation, etc. So everything gets clearer if you have a video that goes with it. There are other methods that use isolated sentences like out of context, so you don't know how and when to use these new words and expressions. But with LingoPy, you see them and hear them applied to a specific situation, uh, which gives you the opportunity to use them in a real life situation. Everybody wants to know how to accurately uh, use the word voila or the expression oh la la. And especially for the last one, we have a very distorted idea of what that means. <laughs> But also with the features that we offer, it's easier to try the different ways of learning expressions, everyday conversations. You can play along the scenes, you can repeat them, go back, etc. So our platform offers an entertaining and engaging activity that is based on pleasure. And that's another reason too have lingo by. You know, you have to enjoy your learning experience. That's the key. You enjoy what you're doing. You simply learn better than if you are bored. And I think everybody knows that. It is also recognized that people learn new things better if they are having fun. So lingo by teaches you with, through something that almost everyone loves, that is watching TV shows and movies. Learning in an entertaining way will, will keep you motivated to always go back and continue. And we have a very large and diverse content to you. So, Tina. Yes, thank you, Marco. Yeah, you're absolutely right. 
as I mentioned earlier, the French catalog offers a wide variety of TV shows, uh, but also films, short movies, and they are suitable for all audiences. We have hundreds of shows to offer. Right now, we have more than 650 episodes on air as of today, and the numbers just keep growing every week. Now, the best thing about Lingopai is that you can really dive into the local culture and environment. In fact, we have several shows which take place in France. But you can also find shows from other French-speaking countries or islands as well, uh, which gives you the, the chance to learn about all the different French accents, like from the north uh, or the south of France, uh, and also some specific old or new uh, regional expressions and of course, different levels of language, such as sophisticated French or uh, proper slang from the streets, you know. So um, in the end, we have tons of content to watch. Uh, we also have weekly releases and very uh, diversified shows, but, but I bet we have something that you are definitely going to enjoy discovering, that's for sure. Thank you, Tino. So uh, here we have the features that are available on the platform in order to optimize your learning experience. These are speed. You can change it according to your level, uh, double subtitles in both French and English. Uh, in the other languages, of course, you have them in the native subtitle and the English subtitle. Uh, then you can uh, you have a feature to how for learning to pronounce better, um, practice comprehension, mashup, and flashcards. Okay, we have chosen uh, three topics to show you a little bit of the content. These are travel, cultural heritage, and French personality. Let's start with travel. <laughs> Here are some of our top shows of our traveling, uh, Paris Behind the Scenes, Nature Adventure and Chameleon. We are going to watch a short scene from each category. In this case, uh, the documentary Paris Behind the Scenes. And in this way, we're going to show you, to present you the features. If you've been to Paris, you'll discover new places uh, you've probably never seen before. And uh, if you've never been there, you can start to discover the most beautiful city in the world. Let's go. So, allez-y. Depuis quelques années, au cœur de Paris, se livre une véritable guerre, celle des palaces. Pour accueillir un tourisme de plus en plus tourné vers le luxe, ces établissements de prestige sont prêts aux investissements les plus fous. Vous êtes la différence par rapport à la concurrence qui va nous faire véritablement séduire les clients. Sur l'avenue Montaigne, le Plaza Athénée est celui qui incarne le savoir-faire et l'élégance à la française depuis plus d'un siècle. Personne n'a la localisation que l'on a, personne n'a le meilleur chef du monde, personne n'a le meilleur chef pâtissier du monde. Nous, on a cette force. So, this is a very small taste of our content. Didi, I am sorry, you wanted to say something? Yeah, no, uh, just, just a funny fact, because I'm not sure if uh, our team knows, but I was actually in Paris a couple of weeks ago. Ooh la la. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. you can tell us how it is right now. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, what you say. It's a really beautiful and great city. And every time, well, I've been there twice, but every time I go there, it's like a new city. Beautiful. Yeah, of course. Très belle. <laughs> A lot of things to discover. Yeah. So as you can see here, we have the features um, right in the bottom. So let's start with the speed. We have just heard the, the scene in a full speed, but you can change the speed. So we're going to listen to it again, not all the scene, but you, uh, so you can listen to the intermediate uh, speed, for example, here. Depuis quelques années, Au cœur de Paris, se livre une véritable guerre. And now I'm going to change it to beginner so you can listen to the difference, the real difference with the full speed. Celle des palaces.
pour accueillir un tourisme. So if you need to change it according to your level, um, or if you want to listen to a sentence again, really slowly, so you can um, copy it, uh, this is a really helpful tool. But of course, you have the both subtitles, right? The, the subtitle in French, the subtitle in English. You can leave them both, or maybe if you want to just use it for leisure, you just want to watch the content and not think about learning the language, you can toggle the French subtitle and just watch it with the English subtitle. Or if you'd rather test your level of comprehension in French, you can toggle the English subtitle and just watch it with the French subtitle. So in another uh, scene, we're going to show you more of these features. So let's continue with um, the next category. So Marco. Thank you, Safi. So we also have uh, some shows that will allow you to learn about cultural heritage, uh, the food, the buildings, the history of French speaking communities. Uh, you know, it's a great way to learn culture by watching that. For example, with uh, Roots and Wings, the Racine des Ailes, that it's a very complete documentary about French regions and what makes them unique, you can discover how the Cantal, that is one of many cheeses in France, is made uh, in the territory of Massif Central. Or maybe you want to learn a new skill, you can do it because we have uh, Learn with a Chef in this case, which is a cooking show presented by uh, Chef Patrick Dujoncourt. It's a beginner friendly show, very easy to understand because the chef speaks slowly and clearly. So we're going to watch the scene and the next scene is going to teach us how to prepare the famous ratatouille. I think you should know that. Alors, on y va. Bonjour les fines bouches. Dans cette vidéo, nous allons parler de la ratatouille. Ratatouille, plat du sud, plat du soleil. Mais dans le Nord, on aime bien aussi. Et on va vous montrer qu'on sait en faire une très bonne avec quelques petits trucs. Quels sont les ingrédients nécessaires pour faire une bonne ratatouille Comme partout, il y a besoin d'oignons. 3. De l'ail, des eaux, jusqu'on va mettre 4 gousses. On peut dire ail ou eau. Des poivrons, rouges et verts en général. Certains mettent du jaune pour avoir un petit peu de couleur, mais au niveau du goût, je pense que ça apporte rien, c'est un hybride. Trois courgettes, à peu près 450-500 g de tomates, une aubergine, voire deux selon si on aime plus ou moins, un bouquet garni, de l'huile d'olive pour mettre tout ça en cuisson, sel, poivre et quelques herbes. So, so there you have the ingredients. Um, well, maybe the preparation is also important, but we are going to stop there. <laughs> so let's see another features that you have in, in the video player. Let's see the learn to pronounce feature. When you click here, you are going to hear an automated voice uh, with a, without any background noise. So you can check and practice the pronunciation of the sentence. Dans cette vidéo, nous allons parler de la ratatouille. So, it's useful to check and to listen to the sentence without all the other voices and noises. We also have a feature for practice comprehension. This is to focus on what is said. For example, you can toggle the subtitles and all the subtitles and listen to a sentence in loop just to test your comprehension, comprehension to see if you are understanding. Uh, you can also listen and repeat. Uh, and remember that repeating things that you understand helps you to acquire new vocabulary. Safi? Ratatouille, plat du sud, plat du soleil. Ratatouille, plat du sud, plat du soleil. 
Thank you. So we're going back to Tina. Yeah, thank you. That looks very good. I'm very hungry right now. Um, but yeah, as you probably already know, uh, France has a lot to offer and it's very well known like all over the world for a few things like its gastronomy, for example, of course, some world famous monuments um, such as the Tour Eiffel or many others and cities like Paris or um, I don't know, Lyon, Marseille, you probably know um, quite a few, I guess, but also some beautiful landscapes um as well but also for our typical personalities and that's what i want to talk about right now so we actually have a lot of shows based on the different aspects of french culture and here we are presenting some of our top shows so we have bertrand sam and punchline uh, punchline is a short movie and in all these um in these shows in general you will really feel like being in france and learning the proper French ways and expressions. One of our strengths, I would say, is actually our sense of humor, which can be a bit dark or cynical at times, but humor um, to us is very important. And in the next scene from Punchline, you will see what I'm talking about. So I hope you'll find it funny. And also in this scene, we'll show you our most useful features, which are the mashup and the flash counts. So relax and enjoy the show. Toc, toc, toc. C'est là. C'est la mort. Oh non. C'est dans quoi ça Je sais pas en fait, c'est un truc que j'ai vu à la télé. Ouais, ça me dit un truc. Ouais. Mais tu sais justement, ça fait trop série B, tu vois. C'était traduit en français. Ouais, moi, je pourrais bien de finir justement sur un truc un peu joyeux. Ouais, un peu drôle. C'est un peu sordide. Ouais, c'est pas mal. Ouais. Par ouais. ça, c'est vrai que ça fait ouais. partir tranquille. Mais t'as une calvitie, toi Oui, j'ai une petite. Euh... Ça fait un petit trou derrière. C'est ça, c'est ouais, mon père. Baisse ta tête. Voilà le trou, voilà. Non, pas, pas la calvitie. Ferme-la, putain Ferme ta putain de gueule, merde Putain, on peut pas travailler tranquille, la merde Pardon. Putain C'est la première fois que j'en ai un qui parle comme ça, merde là Peut-être que c'est le stress. Ta gueule Je suis désolé, c'est bon, c'est pour moi. C'est bon Ouais. Hasta la vista, baby. Sur la tête. Ah, I enjoyed that. Good to watch. Uh, yeah, I don't know what you guys think, but I just love this film. <laughs> so let's watch it, watch it again um, in order to understand what the mashup really does. Yeah. So basically, the mashup actually selects a few specific words in every sentence. And this way you can really work on your knowledge and comprehension. So if you wanna have a look at it again at the scenes. Toc, toc, toc. C'est là. C'est la mort. Oh non. C'est dans quoi ça Je sais pas en fait, c'est un truc que j'ai vu à la télé. Ouais, ça me dit un truc. Ouais, ouais. Mais tu sais que... justement, ça fait trop série B, tu vois. C'était traduit en français. Ouais, Mais moi, je pourrais bien de finir justement sur un truc un peu joyeux. So yeah, you can see that you don't have all the subtitles anymore, but you have this uh, feature which kind of replaces it. And that way you are really working on, especially on your comprehension. And then um, the, the last feature um, and the I'm one sorry. of the most important... I'm sorry, Tino, I don't, I don't want to cut you, but mm -hmm. I just wanted to say something. I think that it's very, very important that also when we have the both subtitles um, or only the, um, the French subtitle, sorry, here, you can click on each word and um, you can find the, um, the literal meaning if you need to uh, uh, like understand better the literal meaning of that because here you have the, the um, subtitle by context. But mm -hmm. if you want to know the literal meaning of the word, you can click on the word and you'll have this card. And now you go to the flashcards. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. No, you're right. That's absolutely uh, how it works. Um, the, the whole point is to click on the subtitles and that will create the flash counts. So basically every time you click on a, on a word, it will automatically go to your flash counts, uh, which is some kind of uh, database uh, where you can retrieve all the words and there you can really work on your memory you can have fun actually with these flashcards this is 
just uh, one of the best feature ever. So, yeah. As you, can see, to, yeah. Uh, as you can see, with a flashcard, you can try to practice if you already know what it, what that flashcard, what that word means, sorry. And, and you can choose if you remember or don't remember the flashcard. If you don't remember, the next time uh, Lingobai will show you the flashcard again and again until you say it's or it's learned by you. So it's an interesting way to uh, have your new words in a, all all together, and you can also click on there and listen to the pronunciation and click again and have the translation of the sentence. You also have everything in context. All words are put in, in are, are in the sentences, so you can always uh, watch the scene again. Watch uh, how the words and the sentences are, are presented, and like that, you are going to understand how language functions. So now, yeah, thank you, Marco. This is um, this is one of the the best features. Really, it's, um, the the good thing about this is that you can really keep them forever and just um, accumulate all your flash counts. And at some point, you will really see that your your level of comprehension will really improve. You will understand better. You will remember better all these uh, these words or expressions as well. And especially, just like Marco said, with the context. You will remember because you will have this word in your mind, but you will also keep the image and you will just join them together. So that will really help you to uh, to remember all these uh, words and expressions. So talking about tips, actually, um, Marco is going to give you uh, some tips for making the most of Lingopai. Yeah, and before and before we do, Marco, sorry to jump in here. Uh, I'm actually really curious if, uh, like, on people who are attending this webinar, if you're currently learning French, if you're not uh, French yourself or uh, from Canada or from a French-speaking country, uh, what are the reasons why you've decided to learn French, or or what what are the re what is the reason? What are the reasons that you want uh, to learn French in the future? So if you could write um, something down in the QA or the, the chat, let us know because it's something we're really curious about at Lingopi. Why do people uh, uh, learn, uh, uh, want to learn a language? So if you let us know, uh, maybe we can touch on that subject later on as well. But we're always really interested to know why, the, why people are learning languages. I, for example, started uh, learning a language because of love. But maybe for you people out there, it's because you enjoy wines or uh, you like the nature in Canada. Or so, let us know in the chat or in the Q and A why you're, uh, yeah, why you are or why you want to learn a language. And I'm seeing some people are writing it down. Yeah, traveling, family members. Yeah, keep so it's keep like you have a neighbor, here. you know, <laughs> someone moved to Montpellier. Recently. Yeah, I, I just I just saw the message. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for the lovely messages, by the way. <laughs> yeah, nice. You should come and visit France. Beautiful place. French speaking countries. People have been learning French since high school as well. That's I'm not sure how old you are now, but imagine that's a long time ago, planning on going to Paris. Okay, so lots of people who want to travel. Nice. Because uh, maybe for you, Sofia and Marco and Deborah as well, why did you guys start learning uh, French or how come? Well, I actually have two aunts who live in France, one in Strasbourg and the other one in the Pyrenees. So I, when I had my sweet 16, that here in Argentina, it happens at 15, yeah. I traveled to France for two months. I knew nothing, nothing, just... Bonjour, merci. Uh, so I, I ended up learning one of my aunts sent me to school. I was on vacation. I was like, no, why do you do this to me? But really it was the best decision ever. 
And then when I came back to Argentina and started studying uh, French, and I had the opportunity to be there many times. So I'm going there in a, in a month, like to stay. So I'm really excited about it. And I really love the, the language. Okay. And for you, Marco? Well, I always studied French from a very little child. <laughs> Uh, and I've been to France twice, and uh, it was one of the uh, most amazing experiences of my life. And I also lived in France for uh, six to eight months. And uh, for me, it's something that just goes with me, and I love it. Uh, that's nice. And Debbie, how about you? <laughs> so basically, I started learning French in high school but I also have a lot of members, family that live actually in Paris. So it was very mm. easy for me because I had someone to practice with and uh, I had a lot of fun. I was, they, ha they helped me with my homeworks. I was speaking with them all the time. And slowly I fell in love with the culture, with the city. I visited many times. And mm. yeah, slowly I just learned. Oh. Cool. <laughs> yeah. I see some people are asking questions in the chat. Also some interesting stories of how people studied French li literature. Interesting. Um, yeah, if you've asked a question, we might uh, attend to this question in a bit. Uh, but before we move on, uh, back to you, Marco, and the tips for making the most out of Lingopi. Yes, uh, now we are going to present you four tips for making the most out of uh, Lingopi. Um, there, there are something, some advices from our teachers and I will start with the first one that is to focus on pronunciation it's very important um, many courses and, and places you start focusing on grammar or start focusing on syntax and it's not that necessary in fact uh, it's better to focus on expression and pronunciation and uh, vocabulary so listen and repeat, repeat and imitate the things. You can do it alone or you can do it with another learner. Uh, at the very beginning, you should force the pronunciation a little bit uh, if you're not familiar with French. And uh, we have also a community that is developing uh, in Lingopi. So maybe you can share the videos of you uh, imitating a certain scene on TikTok yeah, that would be very nice for us. Um, another, another thing that is also important is to focus on vocabulary. So all, all the things that you love, that you want to, to, to memorize, just write it down. Mm -hmm. Write down the things you like, uh, words, expressions, sayings, and use them to write and to say things about you and about your environment. Mm -hmm. That is the most important. Everyone uh, talks about themselves and their daily life. So try to do this. Uh, and these are things and advices that you can start doing uh, when uh, at the very beginning uh, when using Lingopi. Another thing is to be able to manage the subtitles. Mm -hmm. Uh, choose the subtitle according to what is your level and what are your goals at the moment. But also try this. When you really like a show, you can watch it many times. Watch an episode or a scene with English and French subtitles so you can really understand the situation. Then watch it again, but only with French subtitles. And if you want, you can repeat it a third time without any titles. So you are going to help your comprehension skills by accumulating prior knowledge. And you are going to increase the difficulty progressively. It's a way to test and it's a way to repeat many times the same things as you are also adding some difficulty. And just to end, uh, if you are learning French with a private teacher or in a classroom, in an institution, you can tell your teacher and your classmates about Lingopi. Uh, we really think that 
if your teacher understands how it works and why it's something different, he or she is going to find it very useful and he or she will be able to give you more advice and suggestions on how to use it to achieve your personal goals and to improve your weaker skills. Maybe it is comprehension, maybe it is speaking, maybe it's, it's also writing, because it's also uh, possible to do many, many things. Uh, also with the help of teachers, why not? It's a very good tool also. So. Yeah, thank you, uh, Marco. Um, well, uh, as a team, we're also always very interested in what our users think, of course, of our product and the work we're doing and what we're delivering. So uh, we get some uh, daily reviews on a daily basis. We get comments from our users and some of the comments uh, from Nancy Lawrence, for example, lots of fun and very helpful for brushing up my French and especially for learning the language as it's spoken today. So some people here in the chat that are interested in doing the same, so quite helpful. Tim McFalls, I love it, and it makes language uh, learning fun. As we mentioned before, if you want to learn stuff, it works better if you're enjoying it while you're doing it. Phyllis Ledbetter, hearing native accents sharpens my ear to hear the language. And finally, Roy, I'm not only learning French, I'm also, also watching quality stuff. I'd be watching these shows even if I wasn't trying to learn French. So it's also say something about our content. content. And uh, this is really important for us to be in close uh, contact with our users because it's from them as well that we're learning, we're improving, we're innovating our uh, product, the company, how we work to help people learn a new language. And before we move on, because we're very interested in what our users have to say, but we're also really in interested in um, yeah, your first impressions of people attending today. Uh, what did you think about our story? Did you know us before? So we'll be moving in a bit uh, to a Q&A. But before we move on, I just want to let you know a small reminder that we have a really special uh, discount offer, 65% discount. So stay tuned later on. We'll be sending uh, the link, sharing the link right before we end this webinar. So yeah, Jeanne. Over to you. Yes, thank you everyone for this amazing presentation. We'll now jump into the Q&A. We're gonna to try to answer the questions as they come in. Uh, so let's start off. Someone asked earlier, is this platform going to be available in the EU, Germany to be more precise? Yeah, thank you for asking the question. I'm not seeing this question right now. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if myself or Debbie, maybe Valentino, you want, want to answer this question? Uh, well, the answer is actually yes, absolutely. We are, um, we are definitely trying to, to be everywhere, basically. So um, just so you know, the company is still a bit, um, a bit new. And so far, we have already a few languages to offer. We have lots of content, of course. But also, we are expanding um, the, into the other markets as well. So um, uh, it's not only US, UK, Canada, or just a few countries. It's, we want to be everywhere. We want to be teaching um, and uh, teaching languages and every language, basically, in, in the end. So the plan is to, to cross all these languages. So basically, some, some, at some point, Anyone from, a, from any country will be able to learn any language from any other country through videos. So yeah, we are, we are definitely working on this. Great. Thank you, Valentino. Okay, so we have a lot of questions coming in. I'm going to try to answer all of them. Please bear with me. Um, the next question, we're going to take Christine's, Christine's question. She asked, do you guys have a complete list of the programs that you offer? Let me see. I'm going to look at Sophia here and Tino as well. And I'm just curious, Christine. I'm not sure if I understand correctly what she, what Christine means with complete lists of the programs that you, as in uh, what's online. Sophia, do you, might, do you understand what 
she... yeah i don't know if she means that if we have like a list that you can like you can see before like subscribing i i don't understand that but well yeah of course if you go into our catalog you'll find every show um, and film that we have uh, available to users I don't think you can see the catalog before subscribing. I don't know. No, but the thing is, uh, like I said, we have already hundreds of um, series, movies, and so on, you know? Um, but the other thing is that it's growing all the time. So it cannot be um, like an exhaustive list, you know? Uh, it, yeah, it will always improve it will always be bigger um so yeah we're, we're just trying to have more content every week every month um so it's kind of difficult to provide with a proper list you know um when you have a look at the catalog you can already see all the um, all the shows that are online and we also have the coming soon categories as well which can show you with what is coming up uh in the next week or the next weeks um, but yeah, it's always, always growing anyway. And also, I'm sorry, if you uh, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, like maybe we, we, um, we say the things that are coming out soon and the, the shows that we offer, like we, we do like the presentation of the shows sometimes. Yes. And also, oh, yes, not to forget about the... Uh, the social media, as uh, Sophie said, like we actually have the show of the week and we actually many times do webinars about shows and uh, we have discussions about our content. So it is very helpful, helpful if you actually follow us on social media because you will better understand which kind of content we have and you can also give us feedback on which kind of content you would like to see. So I think it would be like very, you would understand better also what yeah. Lingo Fight is all about, yeah. And also uh, for you, Christine, if you're really interested and you're not sure whether to take a subscription, uh, we offer everyone a seven day free trial. So that's also a moment where you can check our catalog and see if it suits you or if the shows on there, uh, yes, yeah, suit, suit your tastes. So yeah, next question. Awesome. So next question, uh, we have two questions that relate to each other. Elizabeth asked, I have been watching French shows and films on Netflix and YouTube. How is Lingopi different from this? And Tom asked, how is the program different from your competitors? Um, thank you. Thank you for your questions. Uh, I think I'm here, I'm looking maybe at Valentino, but also Marco, uh, Marco, sorry, uh, to also maybe just did a bit in the direction of language learning, one of the questions, and how we differ from uh, other people. So, yeah, Marco, or take the floor. Yes. Um, so, as we presented, we have different features that are not really uh, included in other platforms. So, when we were talking about flashcards, the creation of flashcards, where you can um, you can use it to memorize, to practice, or the different expressions and vocabulary that you're interested in. And uh, the mashup uh, that is uh, suitable for beginners, mm -hmm. just to start learning a couple of words here and there. Mm -hmm. It's also very good when you don't really uh, understand a full speed uh, show, and it's a very difficult for you to understand uh, all the things and you know maybe sometimes french people can talk uh, very very fast maybe if you are if you are already learning you know that and um, and uh, the subtitles the double subtitling is also something that uh, you are going to find on our application and uh, many other features that we also presented that made the difference. And if you always want to make, to do a comparison between other learning languages and language learning apps applications, 
it should be also the focus, that the focus here is on extensive viewing. It's not about learning some uh, very isolated words or isolated uh, phrases here and there. You have tons and tons of hours of people talking, of using the language, so you can start discovering them. Um, it's a different way of understanding your learning experience. You know? uh, so um, uh, the focus is on viewing and an extensive viewing, immersion, and um, having fun. And that is what makes this, what makes it different. And I can also say that as the company, as LingoPi grows, we are uh, also developing new features and new ways of learning so because uh, we are uh, we have uh, already started and that uh, we know that we have uh, to make many room to grow and to continue to do things so we promise that we are going to offer a product that is better and better in terms of quality in terms of content and also in terms of um, in the learning experience. Do you know maybe you want to complete? Uh, yeah, well, I wouldn't, um, I couldn't say it better. Uh, basically, LingoPi is all about fun, yeah? Um, not only in the company, like, I mean, we are having fun in what we're doing, but we also like to provide uh, some tools for uh, people who want to learn a language. We know it's not always easy. And um, the thing is, it gets easier and easier as, uh, as soon as you just start watching some, something that you like first. And then you can just keep watching it again over and over. Um, and that will give you all the, the tools, all the, um, yeah, all the right tools, basically. And we are uh, developing a lot of things. This is basically just the beginning, yeah? So uh, you might be surprised with all the next features which are coming up soon, uh, not only for the website, but also for the, um, for the application, the, the, for the smartphone application. And uh, yeah, we have a lot um, in store for you guys. So yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. Um, we have an interesting question. Patricia wants to know who owns LingoPi. Maybe Bibi, you can tell us a little bit about the background of the company and your story? Oh, I muted myself there. Yeah, for sure. Um, well, we have uh, our founders who are uh, Roy and David. And it all started uh, with uh, David traveling from the United States to Israel, uh, where he started taking these courses, intensive courses, uh, a couple of years ago on learning uh, Hebrew. And he got stuck at a moment. He was like, how do I do this? You know, I'm not moving forward. I don't get the feeling that I'm actually learning uh, the language. Uh, so he started talking to friends and they suggest, and they were asking, he was asking them, how are you guys learning English? You know, I'm here, I wanna learn Hebrew. You guys are speaking English, so great. How did you do that? Movies, shows, listening, immersing ourselves. That was their answer. So, David started doing the same for Hebrew, but he was thinking, isn't there, you know, isn't there a much innovative way where we can do this and actually help people to learn the language? So he got together uh, with Roy and uh, yeah, of course, they started brainstorming, thinking about this idea a couple of years ago where it started, started working on it. And uh, not long later, we're currently working with a team of 150 people plus growing exponentially. And um, yeah, that's, that's how it all started a couple of years back with uh, Roy and David. That's great. Yeah. Awesome. Um, we have a lot of technical questions coming in, um, but to answer more of a general question for now, Coco asked, how do we get the free trial? I downloaded the app and wasn't offered the free trial through iOS. Is there a link or code we can scan? Yeah, I think uh, I would say to Coco to check our website. From our website, you can access our uh, 
the free trial link. I'm not sure if it's only available for website, Valentino, I'm not sure, you're, or Deborah, it's only available for web or also for the app. I'm not sure. I know when you go on the, the site itself, you have free trial, but I'm not sure for iOS. So. Yeah, so maybe try to access it uh, um, through our website. Just go to your uh, web browser and access it through there, Coco. I think there it should work. Because Andrew is saying it works on Android, so try accessing it through there. Yeah, through the website, technical answer. All right, and if people have very um, specific questions about functionalities and which button to press to get what, can they contact you? Do you have customer service or? For sure, we have customer success, we call it. And um, yeah, we're, as I mentioned previously, we're a team that's spread all over the world. We're basically working 24 seven. Uh, Marco and Sofia are in Argentina right now. I'm in the Netherlands. It's nearly 10 p.m. here. So uh, if you have any questions, any queries, if something's not working, uh, make sure to contact us through hello at lingopie.com or through our social media acts. Someone mentioned they joined us. Thank you. Um, because we're online basically all the time. So we will get back to you for sure. All right. So we're going to close off this Q&A. And before we do that, I just want to share with you, this is not a question, but earlier Joelle left a really nice message. She said, I am a French teacher and my students want to live in France or they have relatives in France or their family is becoming French. It's a lot of fun sharing the language and culture I grew up with. Thank you for your very innovative way to help French learners make progress. Ah, that's All nice. Right. Thank so, you. Very lovely, yeah. Thank, thank you, you Joelle. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for staying until the end. Bibi, do you have some last words before we go? Yeah, for sure. Jean, I want to thank you for uh, hosting this uh, lovely webinar. It was a pleasure. I think I can speak uh, for all of my colleagues that it's been a pleasure uh, to join uh, you, to join Frenchly. Thank you, Frenchly, for having us, of course. And, of course, somebody mentioned, uh, we didn't forget, we have a very special discount offer. And we'll be sharing uh, the screen right now so that people, if you're joining from your laptop, uh, you can uh, scan this QR code for the discount link. And uh, otherwise, Frenchly will be sharing uh, with you the, the link to access it through another more easier way if you're not able to access it or if you're on your phone right now. But yeah, merci, merci beaucoup, Frenchly. Uh, I've really enjoyed it. Thank you for all your comments and your questions. And as mentioned before, if something has been left unanswered, if you have a burning question or story you want to share with us or interesting insight, make sure to get in touch with us. All right. Thank you so much, Bibi. And before you go, if you're not yet subscribed to Frenchly's YouTube channel, please go ahead and click that subscribe button to stay up to date with all our video content. And if you're not subscribed to our newsletter, you can also do so by clicking the link below in the chat. I'm going to drop it right now for everyone to have access to it. And if you're interested in scheduling a webinar with us, please feel free to reach out to me directly. I will leave my email address below as well. There you go for everyone right here. And yeah, that is everything for today. Thank you for tuning in. See you soon on Frenchly and have a lovely day. Bye everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.